Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome back to another UE tutorial. Now this is going to be a remake of creating a basic AI and to make it follow you around the map. I have another video from a couple of years ago and through the, you know, the time, the years, the updates have changed some things inside the UE4. So I, try, I was trying to do something and it didn't work out. I couldn't find some notes, so I had to you know, revisit Epic, check the manuals, check everything, check the updates, what it changed, what it did not change. So here we go again for a new remake of how to create a basic AI so we can just follow you around. Everything else, kick, punch, shoot, it's up to you. Now, let's create a blueprint. It's going to be a character. This one is going to be named first AI. Now in here, Let's change the mesh to this. I'm going to put the female mannequin. Pull her down a little bit. I'm going to rotate her 90 degrees to the left. There we go. And I'm going to choose the animation blueprint, which is the third person anim BP. Now I'm going to compile this. In here, I'm going to add a pawn sensing. Now this pawn sensing will help you out to give some like to give eyes for the AI so they can see something around the scene when you compile you get the amount of view that he can see that right now is 90 degrees I'm gonna change this at least to 40 because 90 degrees is like too much basically oh well, basically to be honest it's almost 180 for what I saw so right now this is the view of the character this is the, the the range the radius that he can see something that you want him to see so he can go and chase him shoot him kick him whatever it is that you're setting up on your game now let's go let's close this compile save and let's close this let's go back to our scene here and let's add a navigation mesh bound which is on volumes and mesh navigation mesh so this hasn't changed and that is good so I'm gonna scale this, it's really small. Okay, scale up, there we go. So I'm gonna move it to the right, look right. There we go. And that's it, so this is good. Now to see this green cover that you see here, this is basically where the AI can just follow around something or walk around this is the only space that he's allowed to walk around so if you press on your keyboard your key p for pull you can see where he can walk around your scene now i'm gonna leave it on now let's go back to our first ai character blueprint and in here I'm going to explain two things. Now, let's add the node. Move AI. AI move. Oh, it's right there. I just saw it right there. And move. There we go. So from here, you get the pawn, which is self, the self-reference, which is the AI. Now, the destination, you can put a destination around the map, around the scene, to make him walk to that location now the target actor is going to be the character or whatever actor it is that you want him to follow in our case it's going to be us it's going to be the third person character which is the character that you're going to be using for playing on your game now so if you're going to put it for let's say i don't know for a destination you just want the ai the ai to walk around the map until it finishes and arrives to the destination that you give you can put it on begin play it doesn't really matter in our case it has to or or you can also use the on c event on c pawn event which uh is where he uses his eyes with the radius that you give if he sees something that you're targeting then he goes to that location where that target is in our case it's going to be us our third person character so the begin play here we're not going to use this so this is going to stay a self reference 
and the target is going to be or in our case we need to unlink this because we need to cast a character so we can get the mesh um, I mean the character character cast to the person character there we go so in our case let's put here get player character there we go and now we're going to link this here and the target is going to be the third person character now compile here we don't have nothing else this is uh, like i said this setup that we have right here right now is just to make the ai to follow our character which is the third person character blueprint as see as soon as he sees them on the scene now compile saves changes to take effect and let's put let's drag the ai to the scene and let's hit play and let's go right in front to his eyes now as you can see he keeps following us around the map okay just stop stop following me you're being annoying okay so there he comes and he keeps following you around the map it doesn't matter now for some reason okay so yeah it kept sawing me okay so that is a uh, basic ai now you can make the ai to shoot you to kick you keep chasing you i don't know whatever you want to do is your game you have your own ideas and that is good simple and easy really really simple well i hope you guys like this tutorial it's really fast really quick i was just playing around as you can see adding more stuff to this project because probably i'm gonna upload it for you guys so you can have a bunch of things inside this project so you can play with it's going to have items weapons it's going to be it's going to have setups for attaching items like hats capes uh swords like this one uh it's going to have items for health for damage for energy it's going to have a bunch of things that i'm going to give it to you guys set already set up on on the game so you can just look around so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep everything really organized in this project so you can just get into one thing and everything that you're going to see is only in, in that folder or in that blueprint and i'm gonna add some tutorial blueprints inside so you can also follow those ones and nothing i'm gonna keep coming with more and more and more i'm remaking everything that i can because for what i've seen in these last days a lot of things have changed in the unreal engine so i got to remake some videos but, but i hope that every remake is is as easy as this one because this one was way much faster than the original video that i made a couple of years ago well guys this is angel from prdb entertainment i hope to see you guys next time uh microsoft visual basic uh tutorials coming up for this week i got two of them i already have them already you know on my computer i just haven't uploaded them i gotta create the thumbnails i gotta do some stuff so just wait for them on the week well if you have any comments messages ideas just put it below on the comment section here on the video if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and i hope you like this video bye guys